Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on the roller coaster 2 exercise. Uh, this is a, as in, as with all roller coaster exercises, those are uh, multi-dimensional exercises. They train you to do many different things. The special thing about this exercise is this first move that I'm doing right here. You have to move your right instrument on top of the uh, solid structure on the right so that you're prepared to grasp your ring uh, on the top and do this little motion that I'm gonna do right here with my right hand. Now, as with any ring roller coaster exercise, the basic things you have to make sure is number one, try to grasp the ring as close to the, perimi to the perimi uh, perimeter as possible so that you have more space to work with at the middle of the ring. And number two, try to grasp the ring uh, as much as possible parallel to your um, to your instrument, uh, to like the final articulating part of your instrument. Those little graspers at the very edge of your instrument, at the very end of your instrument, try to grasp the ring parallel to those. Because uh, then your movements are going to correspond exactly to the movements uh, of the ring. Uh, you can see I'm trying to maintain a... Uh, a parallel uh, angle to the, between the ring and the, the very end of my instrument and I'm trying to grasp it as close to the perimeter, uh, to the perimeter as possible and uh, you can see here I move my instrument at the top of the structure on the right and uh, which is um, like a movement that's specific to this particular exercise and you can do this motion this first motion using only your right hand which can be a little tricky, or you can alternatively move the screen uh, as I did with the first ring and exchange the ring and exchange hands when you're holding the ring. Uh, you can find your own ways to kind of uh, complete this exercise and get either 99 or 100%. Uh, but in any case, things you should do, you should avoid collisions between your instruments and the solid structures. Number one, number two, grasp the ring as close to the perimeter as possible. And uh, number three, try to be parallel between the edge of your instrument and the ring. That's all there is. Thank you.